Maidens. In the recent Echoes of Wisdom trailer, a new ability for Zelda was introduced. By using Bind, Zelda can move objects in conjunction with her own movements. You may have noticed that it's incredibly similar to Link's Ultra Hand from Tears of the Kingdom. What's the difference? You may ask. Well, they may appear similar, and they are, but there are a few key differences. Let's talk about the similarities. Both Bond and Ultra Hand are beams of greenish, cyanish light used to move objects in different ways. Ultra Hand allows Link to move, push, pull, and rotate objects from a relatively close range in front of him. Whereas Bond allows Zelda to latch onto objects in just about any directions and move them by moving herself. But while they overlap somewhat, their differences are massive. Ultra Hand allows Link to glue things together and craft just about anything, from vehicles to whole houses. Can you believe this guy? He's just over here using beams of light to craft houses. Bond works even on enemies and echoes, allowing Zelda much more creative room for battles and puzzles. Also, Reverse Bond allows objects and echoes' movements to influence Zelda's as opposed to her movement influencing theirs. So, there you have it. The whole difference between Ultra Hand and Bond. While they are similar, their differences set them apart. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Echoes of Wisdom and about Zelda's new abilities down below in the comments. And as always, God bless and stay sweet. I salute you. <laughs>